when you are. Yep. Hey everybody, a blazer from Dawnland Traffic. Got another porcupine. This is the set I have caught the coyote in uh, last week. And uh, got to do a remake. So I'll show you guys how to do the remake. I try to make sure there's no quills around here. Um, on this one, no quills whatsoever. Just want to make sure my trap bed is out again. So I can bed my trap properly. He tore it up, but that's good because that's just going to do nothing but attract more coyotes, fox, and unfortunately more porcupine. I got a tree route uh, root here that I have that they got to step over. There's another one here. So whatever's here, they're only going to step there, which is good for us. So I'm going to get my chain in. Make sure my trap's set. I'm not going to switch out this trap. There's no blood on the trap. It didn't lacerate the foot. And all this other crap that PETA tries to say happens. As you guys know, because you, you obviously trap. Make sure your pan is flat like before. And bed your trap in. push some dirt down. Make sure your trap doesn't move once it's down there. We got some freezing rain slash snow right now. Uh, if you guys don't live in Maine, I know most of you guys do live in Maine, but if you don't, excellent trapping here. Love it. You guys should come up here sometime. Give it a shot. Just going to dig a little over here. It's not going to matter too much. Normally I don't dig out of sight. Unless I'm betting a trap. But the porcupine's dug up everything as it is. Normally I put a trap pan cover. I do have some. But another trick. If you happen to leave them at home or you don't have any in your bag. Put some heavy put some leaves down over your pan keeps the dirt out from under your pan sift your dirt over your trap bunch of pine needles and stuff here don't want them Scrap. grab some more dirt want to make sure that's even enough if I have some pine needles there, it's not a bad thing whatsoever. Make sure your trap is bedded solid. If it's not, you're going to have issues. That's a remake. I'm going to put some... Uh, Fox urine here. I have had coyote urine, but uh, I'm going to switch it up this time. Uh, I said this is where I'd caught the previous coyote, but I don't want to keep doing the same thing. Make it seem like if it'll spray. There we go. I only do three squirts. I have another trap set back here. Three squirts. You want it to imitate what a fox does. If you just use a pour bottle. You're going to pour too much, it's unnatural, you're going to spook them. So, that's all I do. Talk to you guys later.